Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today is a part two of a series called Scrapping for Copper, Places That Are Commonly Overlooked. Copper right now is at an all-time high. Currently in Canada, your number two copper is going for $4.85 a pound. The highest bare bright copper is going for $5.10 a pound Canadian, which is great. And what I want to do today is show you some places uh, while scrapping that you can find extra copper that some people don't think of looking for it uh, to hopefully add to your pile and maximize your profit. As I said, this is part two. So I do have other examples like vacuum cleaners and other appliances and electronics that, you, that have additional copper. So if you're interested in that video, go check that one out. For today, I want to start with aluminum heat sinks. Aluminum heat sinks are found on all types of circuit boards. You can see here, uh, aluminum heat sink. There is one here, one here, one here, one here. And there's two here. These in Canada, once clean, would be considered clean aluminum and go for 40 cents a pound. As you can see, I have a number of them that I have gotten off of uh, circuit boards. Uh, this weighs two and a half pounds. It's very easy to do and take off. However, these do not have copper. The ones that are commonly overlooked are found in computer towers. And some of them, as you can see, they will be uh, on top of your gold um, uh, chip. So you definitely want to get that gold. This one is just clean aluminum once I take the steel off. There is some that are square and these are very heavy. This is actually a pound, 1.2 pounds. This one is about nine ounces. But some of them, as you can see here, have a nice copper ingot inside. And they are very easy to take out. All I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take a, a, a screwdriver. I'm going to, just in the middle there, I'm gonna spread those two fins and I'm gonna take a grinder and just cut actually right between that to open that up and get this copper in got it. So I'm actually gonna do it for you uh, right now. I've already taken one out. So as you can see, this is pure aluminum. This is about eight ounces or seven ounces. So there's 16 ounces in a pound. So almost a half a pound of copper right there. Uh, and I do find these from time to time. Uh, I don't always find them, but here's another uh, example. This one, it does have some steel, so you have to just cut the back off. But I'm gonna take this one off for this video. Very simple to do. I'm gonna put my safety glasses on. Uh, I'm just gonna first of all put it in my vise. I'm gonna turn this so you can see it a little bit better. So I'm just gonna put it in my vise. Going to just, as I said, spread it open with a pry bar or a screwdriver. Very easy to do, as you can see. I just want to get to that copper. And I'm just going to actually just take an angle grinder. So here we go. Just move this out of the way. is I'm gonna take my pry bar again. Just gonna, first of all, put this in a little bit better. Open it up, fold it. And it's just gonna peel out. Okay, so there it is. And actually I can just, if I can peel it or just take a hammer or punch it out, which I'm gonna actually do right now. I'm just gonna punch it out for you. And now it's loose. So. Here we go. Voila. So now the nice thing is my bench is a little bit, or my bike is a little bit sticky right now. <laughs> gotta grease that up. As you can see, I've got a nice piece of pure aluminum and I have a really nice copper ingot. As I said, these are seven pounds. So right now I have a pound of number two, or actually I would call this pure aluminum. This would actually be number one copper. 
Um, so number one copper right now is going for $4.95 Canadian. So there you go. And it took me 10 seconds. That's the first place. The second place I want to look is actually continuing with circuit boards and aluminum heat sinks. This is an, another example of a circuit board. This is an aluminum heat sink. On this heat sink, there are, as you can see, little fingers. There's a little copper spool that I will take off as well. But behind it, the little black uh, box there, every aluminum heat sink has these attachments on it. Okay, and some of them, as you can see, they will have a black top. Some of them, they will have a metallic top. And some of them are very easily recognizable because if you look at it, it actually has a copper top. All of them are actually made of copper. So this one, if I turn it for you, you can see on the bottom there, right there, that is copper. And what I do is I will cut these off, very easy to do. I will just actually just take a pair of um, snippers, if you will. There you go. And I will take them off. Inside of this is, as I said, a little bit of copper. And what I do is I will take those off. I'll put them in here. There's a nice big bucket of them. Um, and this will go as number two copper. They are found on all circuit boards attached to the heat sink. So some, if I take this example again, as you can see, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on this one. There's the tenth one. There is one, two, three on that one. One big one, one big one. So a lot of circuit boards have a lot of these different uh, attachments. So it adds up quick. And as I said, it is number two copper. Okay. And as I said, some of them will show very quickly, very easily, rare, recognizable that they are copper tops, but they are all copper. If I take one, for example, and I'll take this one, for example, that's got a silver top to it. All I have to do, if you want, is take a file, scratch it, and as you can see, it reveals copper. Okay, so that's another one on circuit boards. The next example I want to look at are magnetrons. Magnetrons are found in microwaves, and they can be a little bit dangerous, so you do want to be careful with these. I do have another video talking about the dangers of mag uh, magnetron magnetrons, so please take a look at that video first. Um, and the reason they are hazardous is because the ribbon here, this white ribbon, as well as the one in this box, can contain beryllium. Uh, if inhaled, if these are crushed, um, you could get what is called beryliosis, which is very harmful to your lungs, uh, it does a lot of damage. So please watch that video first. I can touch this no problem right now because it hasn't been scratched, but these are found, as I said, in microwaves. There's a nice brass ring. Um, if you were to open the top, there are two nice coils of copper, as well that white um, coating there is also coated. It could have beryllium as well, so please be careful with that. But the focus right now is actually inside of this magnetron. These fingers you see here, or fins, are aluminum. There are two beautiful magnets in there that I actually take to my school and I will use. Uh, all the teachers have them on their board uh, holding up their papers and charts, so they're great to use again. I've used them also for magnet fishing because they are very powerful. But the inner core, uh, which will look like this, I've already taped these sides just so um, I cut any other chance of um, crushing the, the beryllium. But this inner core is actually copper. If I was to take a file, as you can see, it is copper. This is another example, and actually this one it's already reveals the copper look to it, um, which is really nice. I've never seen one of these before. Usually I find them with the gray on the top, but these are also a good source of copper and they are very easy to take apart. All I'm gonna do is actually take a grinder and I'm going to just grind this side and this side off uh, and get this middle piece of copper. The reason I can't take the whole thing is because this bolt, these bolts connected to the core do have steel inside of them, okay? So I'm just gonna take a grinder and I'm just gonna work it down that side. Okay, so I'm gonna do that right now for you. I'm only gonna do one side for the sake of this video. 
Uh, I do want to make sure I'm careful. I don't pinch the ceramic coating. Uh, and I, I won't, so I'm good. Uh, I do also want to make sure that it's held into my vise. Okay, so there we go. It's snapped in. I can hear that. There we go. I'm going to put on some safety glasses. Uh, I always put my goggles on if I'm doing a lot of grinding. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera here. I also want to make sure I put on gloves. Um, and I am going to be twisting this around a little bit. But I will show you that this is copper. Very easy to do. It's very easy to cut. sparks it means that you're too close to the steel so you do have to move it a little bit over and that's fine to do so just make sure you move it okay so I don't want to get too close as I said to the um, metal but that is the inside of it there is copper in here still as well, but as I said, the closer I get, uh, there's just a little bit of copper there. So I will actually throw this into my dirty copper pile. There is the inside of one of those. As you can see, that is gonna be a nice chunk of copper uh, as well, as I said. I also keep the tape on there in case I accidentally um, get some grind or some steel uh, sparks on it. I don't want to hurt the, um, the ceramic coating either. Okay, so there is another one, the inner core of a magnetron. The last one I want to look at is also another common one that you will find. And this is on washers and dryers. You'll find them on dishwashers. These are um, very recognizable. They, some of them will have a steel top to them. Uh, they come in different colors, so blues and, and oranges and um, teals, if you will. And inside of these, you can throw these into your dirty motor pile. Uh, you do want to make sure you get the brass off there and put it into your brass pile. But dirty, these are copper motors. These would go for 10 to 15 cents a pound Canadian. But you could also very easily take out the copper. All I'm going to do for this one is actually take a saw and I'm just going to cut the edge of this so I can expose the copper that goes around that. So I'm going to do that. Right now, I'm just going to put it again in my vise. I'm going to use a saw. Uh, and you could use a hacksaw. You can use a um, different type of saw. I'm actually going to use uh, one of these ones. I like this one. Um, but you don't have to. But I'm going to just cut just down the edge of it. Okay, and I could have used a grinder as well. But um, Now, the, my bench is... is loose. I'm just very strong. My bench is not a heavy bench despite what you think. So please don't say on my comments that I need to uh, tighten my vise because it's not the vise, it's my bench. Okay, but there you go. As you can see, there is my motor. And inside of that is the copper. You can actually see some copper windings right here. And all I'm actually going to do now is Take a screwdriver, just take a flathead screwdriver here or a knife, um, and as you can see, I'm just gonna peel it out. Okay, and it pulls out. There you go. Okay, so I can, I'm gonna definitely afterwards, it goes in, I'm gonna take a, a knife blade and actually just pop out more. Where's my knife blade? Here you go, nice tip on that. As you can see, pulling out copper windings, okay? And you might think, well, there's not a lot of copper in there. And it's true, it's not, but what I do is I will take all of this copper wire, I will put it into a bag, and I will get uh, number two copper price. It definitely adds up quickly. Um, but it is, again, it's entirely up to you. If you don't wanna do that, definitely take the brass prongs off, and this could go into your copper motors for 10 cents a pound, okay? Um, hope you found that interesting and informative. Again, this is part two of common places missed while scrapping for copper. Um, hopefully this answered some questions. Again, as I said, for the magnetron, 
Uh, word of caution, please make sure you check out my video on how to safely handle these. Again, as I said, I can touch this no problem now because it has not uh, been uh, damaged. Um, again, please comment down below. Stay well, happy scrapping, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Tin Man out.